close. This startling document was recovered from the FBI's secret file. It is in J. Edgar Hoover's own handwriting. In response to a government request to investigate UFOs, Mr. Hoover wrote, and we quote, I would do it, but before agreeing to do it, we must insist upon full access to disks recovered. For instance, in the L.A. case, the Army grabbed it and would not let us have it for cursory examination. End quote. This memo clearly indicates that Mr. Hoover considered UFOs a very serious subject that should receive top-level security. One of the events that may have contributed to the opinions reflected in Mr. Hoover's memo is the apparent recovery of the wreckage of a crashed UFO by the United States Army. This happened on July 8, 1947, and involves Major Jesse Marcel, who was, at that time, the intelligence officer at Roswell, New Mexico Army Air Force Base, the only atomic bomb wing in the world. Major Marcel is a combat veteran who shot down five enemy planes in World War II. A local rancher brought Major Marcel to a crash site located on a remote area of his ranch. They were astonished to find the vast amount of wreckage. One thing I was certain of, being familiar with all air activities, that it was not a weather balloon, nor an aircraft, nor a missile. It was something else of which we didn't know what it was. There were just fragments strewn all over the area, an area about three quarters of a mile long and several hundred feet wide. So we proceeded to pick up the parts. A lot of it had 